Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm finally going to announce our next pick for the second round of the Big Book Book Club, which is going to happen in March and April. I feel like everybody already knows because <laughs> I think you could predict the outcome when you saw the suggestions that I gave you in the video. Because one of the books was just... I guess the most popular, like one of the most popular books of all times, I guess. <laughs> and so, of course, of course, it got chosen. So, with 41% of votes, Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas got chosen for the second round <laughs> of our big book book club. So that's the book that we are going to read. Now let's talk about the translations. So if you still don't have a copy, let's talk about two translations. From what I found on the internet, there is like two main translations of Alexander Dumas, uh, The Count of Monte Cristo. One of them is the most recent one. First, it was published in 1996, and it is translation which is published by Penguin. So this is the most full and like truly unabridged translation because before the translation was that was done in the 1800s removed certain parts that were considered inappropriate <laughs> violent portions of the book or even female female romance and female female sexual relationships were apparently removed that's what i found on the internet at least and the Penguin translation restores all of those elements. And so it's like the only fully unabridged and uncensored translation. So that's what I will be reading. I will be reading Penguin's version. However, there is a different one. So the translation done in 1800s, translation that people have been reading for like a century already. Like I said, it it is censored and they removed certain parts for the good of the children and for the good of general public <laughs> to keep their morals and to keep their, <laughs> I don't know, their minds in a good state. So they removed something that they considered inappropriate. However, it is still apparently quite a good translation. So that, for example, addition in Oxford classics or, or even Everyman's Library edition, those are translations from the 19th century and they don't have certain elements so just be prepared for that however they're still readable and they're still enjoyable like i haven't found complaints in terms of language that like you cannot enjoy reading them i didn't find those complaints i only saw that like they're abridged and they don't have certain parts which penguin for example has so those are like main two translations i will be reading penguin let me know in the comments which edition do you have also, if you look at the percentage that each book got in the last um, vote, you will notice that the old drift received just 1%. And it makes me sad because I feel like it's an interesting book and it's a book by a black author from Africa. And I feel like Africa is a continent that is so underrepresented. It's not spoken about enough. And I just, I want to read books from that continent and I want to listen to authors from that continent and what they have to say. And, and at the same time, I feel that even if I suggest this book again in the future, it will probably not be chosen because now it received like just 1%. And there always will be books that are more popular, that are more well-known and authors that are, that are more well-known. And of course, and like it's normal, of course, everybody wants to read uh, Count of Monte Cristo is such a huge and important book in our culture and Middlemarch and like all the English authors like I don't want to say that like those books are not important because they are it's just that other important books when they're put together with these books they just don't stand a chance and so I feel like we need to change that we need to read also <laughs> important books by our modern authors, even if they're less popular. So I thought I might as well read Old Drift now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to read the Old Drift as well. And if, if you're interested in, this, in that book, if you want to read it, I invite you to join me. I will also create uh, a group on the Discord server for the Old Drift body read and we will be able to discuss it and talk about it. I invite you to join me and read The Old Drift as well together. So I will be reading two books. I will be reading The Count of Monte Cristo and The Old Drift. If you're interested, you can join. <laughs> um, 
so yeah I have a small announcement to make I'm thinking of starting doing reading sprints with you like weekly reading sprints I'm currently obviously it's just like a castle in the air I'm just like thinking about it I'm just thinking how what is like the best format to do it and when is the best time to do it currently I'm thinking about Saturdays and like a usual time when I upload my video maybe one or two hours later I'm thinking because for me then it will be like 10 p.m. and I am not an like evening first like in the evening I am just sleepy and tired so um, I don't think I will be able to do it like three hours later but I think if I make it at least like a 10 my 10 p.m. for me in Tokyo I think I will still have some energy for that so we will see because I I couldn't do it in the morning because I live with my husband and he works and he has some things to do and like it would be also difficult for him if I did it during did it during the day so I don't want to inconvenience him so we will see how it's going to go obviously because it, because of the time differences it will be very difficult to find like a perfect time for everybody if you cannot make it that's okay I will still keep recording of the live stream so if you are interested if you want to watch recording you will be able to do so I just I just thought that reading sprints is also a great opportunity to kind of give encouragement to people to pick a book up and to sit together in a group and read it and then discuss it in the end of what, what everybody read, read what they thought about their books, if they recommended re recommending their books. So it will be also a good opportunity to find new books because obviously everybody will be reading something different. It's not necessarily for the big book book club. Like if you are not participating, it's not. It doesn't mean that like only people who are reading the big book have to join like you can join if you have homework to do for example or if you have else to do that requires like concentration for a certain period of time you can also join so you can do whatever you want I just thought that it would be easier and more interesting to do certain things in the group so I'm thinking I'm still like thinking about like format I'm thinking maybe three times 40 minutes like 40 minutes three times with 10 minutes break in between so maybe it will be like that we will see I'm thinking about the format but yeah hopefully it will be interesting I'm I'm just curious to try obviously like, in the beginning it will just be a trial period if it works out well well then I will continue doing that if it doesn't really work out well well then I will stop so we will see how it's gonna go I'm just I just want to try we will see I will see if you like this format if you don't like this format uh, let me know in the comments if you participate in reading sprints and what you think of them. Uh, how do you think they can be improved? How do you think they... Or maybe they, they don't need to be improved. Maybe they're like quite well as they are. So yeah, I'm thinking. I think it could be an interesting experiment. It will be interesting. So at least once every week a reading sprint. On the weekend. I feel like it, it could be good. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're excited. I'm looking forward to our reading sprints and I'm looking forward to the second round of the book club. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very good day. I will see you soon in my next videos. Thank you so much. Bye.